here at the Southwest Conference on Disability, and we are talking to Jill. We met yesterday and she attended our talk about our education and we started to talk after our talk. Jill, can you tell us what type of disability do you have and how does it affect your daily life? I have a chronic illness or multiple chronic illnesses that I've had since birth. And it depends on the day how it affects my life. Some days I live normally and I can go to the grocery store and make my own breakfast and do work. Um, I was a professor until recently. And then other days I'm in bed all day long and I can't really lift my head because of the fatigue. Um, some days I feel like I have a stomach flu and am in the bathroom most of the day. And some days I'm in between where I can be on the couch and make my own coffee and do a little bit of work, but you know, my husband or one of my children will need to make meals for me and things like that. So it really varies. What motivates you to overcome challenges that you face? Well, I think for the first 30 years of my life, I kept thinking that it's going to go away. It's temporary. And um, I convinced, well, other people had convinced me that I was either trying to get attention or it was all in my head and that I really wasn't in that much pain. Um, I was just kind of a whip. <laughs> And after that, after I realized, you know what, no, this is, this is permanent and it's real and I am really suffering with something, um, at that point I just wanted to do as much as I can and prepare for the day when maybe I do get a diagnosis or a cure is found. <laughs> How do you measure success in what you do? Right now, I'm measuring it in how I can help people. Um, with, with this new business I'm doing, I want to help students transition into college and understand their rights for accommodation so that they don't have to go through what I went through. Mm. So can you tell us about what your uh, new business is and what it's for? Sure. I am teaching a nine-week summer program for students with disabilities who are going into college. So it's going to be 12 one or more hour long recorded lectures, a weekly coaching session, group coaching session, and a peer support network, the forum that we're going to put together. And then to continue that, students have the option of doing what I'm calling the freshman forum, which is going to be two one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions and those can be used if they're having problems with getting accommodation with disability resources or there's an instructor who doesn't quite understand what accommodations they're asking for, things like that. And then continuation of the forum, peer forum, so that we can continue to have that community and peer support. And I always forget the third thing. Oh, and weekly group coaching sessions that will continue, or bi-weekly, I'm sorry, bi-weekly for the freshman forum because once we're in college it gets a little bit hectic so I figured twice a week would be would be a good amount. Jill, thank you for doing this and we learned a lot. Thank you for What if someone me. would like to get in contact with you? How do they do that? My email address is jill at educoach.org. It's J-I-L-L at educoach, E-D-U, oh, no, I'm sorry, E-D-Y-O-U-C-O-A-C-H dot org. Thank you for having me.